Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Captain Mike. Welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus, Friday, June 3rd. Uh, right now, looks like we've got some weather blowing through down here in Marathon in the Florida Keys. A little bit of a tropical storm, probably blowing 30, 35, torrential rain. Great day to talk about dolphin as far as I'm concerned. This will blow by and everybody will be offshore before you know it. A uh, few things that I want to talk about, you know, of course, there's so many different ways to fish for dolphin, right? May it be chunking, gosh, kite fishing, live bait fishing, and of course, trolling. That could perhaps be the most popular method. And when it comes to trolling dolphin, again, there's so many different point of views and tactics and, you know, things that work. That's the bottom line. Pulling rig ballyhoo is an absolute staple. Works all over the world for dolphin. Um, you know, trolling lures, there's countless trolling lures out there on the market that are effective for dolphin for trolling. So, uh, you know, again, the possibilities are really endless and there's no right way or wrong way. It's whatever way is working for you and you're catching fish. Hey, stick with it. Um, you know, I fish for dolphin a lot of different ways. One of the things that I like to do on the trolling aspect, you know, I, I think about it in my head. I'm like, these fish are out here, you know, schools of these predominantly schooly sized fish. They're cruising all around the weed lines offshore here and certainly in your area as well. Um, perhaps more here than anywhere else. And they're, of course, they're on the hunt. They're looking for anything they could eat, and they eat just about anything, anything. I mean, you know, you fillet dolphin long enough and cut open enough of them, and you're gonna find everything but a license plate in there. And I wouldn't be surprised if you found that, too. Um, it's crazy, but they really like squid. You know, I know that for a fact. I, I, we all know that, that one of dolphin's primary forage and one of their staples and something they can't resist is squid. So when I'm out there trolling, I like to fish lures that mimic squid. You know, if it's a little chugger like this, by the way, these are just the Dubro uh, lure and leader keepers, as you can see, real easy to work with, real easy to store your lures. Um, just a small little five or six inch chugger, no particular name brand to that lure right there. Um, some other ones that I found to be really effective that I like fishing, you know, we've all heard of Zack Attack lures, right? The Thunderstruck or whatever they call that thing that's just a badass lure and catches a lot of big marlin, a lot of big fish. I think what a lot of guys don't know is that Zack Attack also makes a series of micro trolling lures. I mean, look at that right there. That right there is just absolutely beautiful as far as I'm concerned, and again, it mimics that squid. They've got a couple of different head designs, by the way. I found that they're all effective. Um, the point is that they're small. You know, all of these lures that I like to fish when I'm out there looking for dolphin, looking for action. I'm not specifically looking for big fish at this point. Of course, you're always looking for big fish, but action. Maybe I've got a group of people on the boat who just want to hook their first dolphin or just want to get into a hot dolphin bite. So I find that pulling four or six of these small baits, I'm telling you, is just so effective. And again, even though they're all a little bit different, you can see they're all very similar. They all mimic those squid, the four to six inch squid that the dolphin feed on. And they just can't resist them. I mean, it's, it's crazy. They absolutely love them, okay? Dolphin of all sizes and other fish too. We've caught wahoo, we've caught you know, sailfish, um, all sorts of stuff on these baits. They're real easy to fish because you don't have to get real technical about it and say, hey, where am I gonna put this lure? Is it gonna be in the, you know, eighth wake, fourth wake, on the long rigger, short rigger? These are really easy baits to fish and they're great for people who are just getting into offshore fishing or even if you're an experienced blue water guy, and you want to up your ante and catch more, I'm telling you, don't discount these small little micro lures. They're really, really effective. However, to fish them properly, they have to be rigged right. It's a law of physics. It's a very small bait. Look, that bait is barely the size of my palm right there. Again, perfectly mimics a squid, but it's very small and very light. And if you fish this off a of 50 wide loaded with 80 pound mono, it's not gonna work. Your bait's not gonna perform properly. You know, for me, I start right at the rod. It's a Chaos Gold seven foot rod, 15 to 30 pound class. 
it's just a typical live bait rod. We use it kite fishing, we use it to fish flat lines, bottom fishing, and it's my light duty trolling outfit. Really, really versatile outfit, nothing super fancy as far as the rod's concerned. Talica 16 on the reel, smooth drag, plenty of line capacity, loaded with high-vis 20-pound diamond line. Light, I don't need anything more than 20 pound. I'm not targeting giant fish with this outfit, even though elephants eat peanuts, and at any time, a big bull or something might surprise you and come up and eat that bait. You know, again, it's not a small little micro piece of plastic, it's a squid. Start thinking about it like a live squid. And everything out in the ocean that you want to catch eats squid, bottom line. So again, I need to have plenty of line capacity, but that 20 is perfectly fine, okay, it really is. I finish off the 20 pound with a top shot of 80 pound monofilament doesn't need to be fluorocarbon because i want to reduce my signature i want to get a little bit more stealthy look at that high vis line right there you could see it from a country mile so could the fish so i like to have a buffer in between my line and the lure itself 25 feet is plenty 25 feet a blood knot connecting the top shot to the line on the reel is all that you need from there, all of the lures are rigged exactly the same way, okay? I use a VMC, long shank, 9-0 hook right there, okay? Nice, clean little crimp, real, real clean, okay? 100-pound diamond monofilament leader material, 100 pounds. Seems to be the perfect balance because you need to have some relatively heavy leader. Again, you don't know what's going to eat this, and anything could eat that right there, anything. So I need to have that security. I don't go too long. There it is, right there. Four feet, five feet at the very most. That's really, you know, we'll say four to five feet. That's all that I need on the leader. It's finished off with a small little diamond ball bearing, 50 pound barrel swivel. I don't need more than a 50 pound barrel swivel. It's about balance. I'm fishing a 20 pound outfit. How much drag am I possibly going to put on a fish so much that it's going to destroy a 50 pound ball bearing swivel? No chance at all. So I keep my signature very small, very streamlined, very stealthy. And that's how that lure is rigged, period. They're all rigged the exact same way. I can fish them anywhere behind the boat, too close, too far, too off the tips of the riggers. These small little micro baits will perform incredibly well, even at up the speeds to 10 knots, okay? And I'm not afraid to pull them fast. I like to pull these baits fast through the water. Okay, you'll see that incredible smoke trail coming off of them, and you can zigzag practically through these weed lines and around the big weed patches, and you can literally watch the dolphin come racing in across the slick. If that's not the sickest thing that you've ever seen as an offshore angler, right? As a game fish, you're trolling along, you look behind the boat, and right across the top, beelining for your lure and crushes it. That's exciting, and that's what you'll see with these baits, because again, they create that really enticing trail, you know, and they're just irresistible to the dolphin. So again, I'm not saying this is the best way to catch dolphin everywhere all of the time. I'm telling you, it's another way. Add it to your arsenal. Make sure you're rigged right. You know, very, very important. Make sure you're rigged right. I can't stress it enough. Go light, finesse, even though you're offshore fishing, a lot of moving parts, big fish, big boat, big water but it's still finesse, especially when you hook a big fish. You know, take your time, make sure your drag set properly. Don't let angler and tackle failure and enter the equation in any way. We talk about that all of the time, you know, and I wanna drive that down your throat. Other than that, you know, look, it's a lot of fun, especially throughout the Keys, Southeast Florida. You know, so many people are dolphin fishing. Add this to your arsenal. Think micro, because remember, elephants eat peanuts, but more importantly, fish of all sizes. This is their predominant forage offshore. Certainly, dolphin will eat a big bait. Heck, a dolphin will eat something bigger than itself, practically. 
Uh, but they also eat a lot of small baits. How many times have you filleted a dolphin and it's had small little trigger fish and file fish and small shrimp and anything they can catch out there that they can dislodge out of the weed? So don't think a 30, 40, 50 pound bull dolphin isn't going to come along and swallow your squid because he will. I promise you that. And certainly all of his little offspring, you know, all of the schoolies in that 20 to 30 inch range, well, I'll tell you what, they'll keep you busy all day long on these baits. So check them out. Make sure you're rigged right. A lot of other videos right here on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus that you need to get your eyes on. All right, it's a great time to do it this weekend with the bad weather. Binge, binge on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. You'll be a more successful angler.